We go back to Kalamse, and the Eastern Regional Police Command has arrested four more Chinese nationals engaged in illegal mining. They were arrested together with two Guinean accomplices at Dinchuanye in Koko in the Eastern Region. I do have on the phone line this afternoon PRO of the Eastern Regional Police Command, ASP Ebenezer Tete. Good afternoon, sir, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon and thanks for your Good time. Afternoon. Can you confirm if indeed there has been an arrest of four Chinese nationals engaged in illegal mining? Yes, we have arrested four additional Chinese nationals who were part of the illegal mine, miners. We arrested the last uh, time, that was on uh, Friday, following an operation led by the Eastern Regional Police Command to mm. clamp down activities of Galante or illegal miners in the region. So we arrested initially uh, so, uh, uh, nationals from uh, China, three of them, and three Ghanaians who we quickly arraigned before court, and they are on remand as we speak now. So mm. these four who are in our custody now are being processed, and as soon as we complete our investigations, they will also be having before court as quickly as possible. Now, what are the charges preferred against them? Two questions in one. And is the operation in furtherance to the three weeks ultimatum issued by um, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources? Uh, the charges that were preferred against the first group was uh, mining without license, contrary to the Mining Act, conspiracy to commit crime to which mining without license. Mm. and possessing firearms without lawful authority or excuse. They were charged with possessing firearms without lawful authority or excuse because when we arrested them, they, they had in their possession three pump action guns and 68 live cartridges. And they could not tell us the reasons why those cartridges and those uh, 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 pump action guns were in their possession. So they were charged with those offenses. And then in addition to that, to that, they were also engaging in illegal mining. So that was why they were charged with those offenses and they were arraigned before court but their pleas were not taken because we had not concluded our investigation so their plea was not taken they were remanded to into police custody to enable us to complete our investigation and arraign them in court subsequently at the next adjourned date on the 12th of april uh, the group that we have just arrested after investigation the charge will emanate from there from the investigation mm. and is this related to the ultimatum given by the minister for lands and natural resources um the answer is yes or no yes mm. uh, because we are all uh, fighting to eliminate this medicine existence uh, uh, medicine existential threat that we are all facing uh, the land the water bodies and everything is being destroyed in the region here and in in in, in the near future if we are not careful all of us will, will either be starving mm. from uh, water or any uh, other thing that uh, the good lord has blessed us with as, uh, no, because this uh, operation is part of the operations that we usually uh, conduct, the routine operation that we conduct in the region to raid uh, people who are engaging in illegal mining activities and destroying our uh, ecological zone, destroying farmlands and destroying water bodies and destroying uh, everything that has to do with, uh, you know, uh, our land. So uh, we are all helping in the fight against this uh, animal called mm. illegal mining or galamsey, and okay. uh, that we are prepared to do without any fear of evil or affection, mm. irrespective of uh, the person's uh, creed, color, or where the person is coming from. Ours is to uh, fight against this menace and minimize it if we cannot completely eliminate it from, you know, uh, our system. Okay. Now, SP, before I let you go, you mentioned that, yes, the court processes will take place, but are you also possibly collaborating with the Chinese Embassy and the Immigration Service for the deportation of um, the Chinese? Th that's, that's, that's a very, very good question. Uh, mm. As we handle the issue on the criminal leg, we are also in touch with the investigation. Uh, our investigation is pointing to the fact that these persons... Uh, probably will not be having the residential permit to even work in Ghana. So we are in collaboration with the immigration. As soon as we finish the criminal leg, um, if it could be established that they, they, they don't have permit
to be in this country, they will be quickly repatriated to their home country. So yes, that is uh, something that we are also working on. All right, well, thank you very much. ASP Ebenezer Teten, we're looking at some illegal Galamse miners who have been arrested, specifically Chinese miners as well, who have been arrested in the Eastern region. You're still watching Midday Live.